There he is. That's a good one, guys. Come here, baby. Absolutely choked it. Giant smallmouth. guys we're doing something a little bit different today I'm down here on a reservoir that I literally haven't fished in I don't know how many years it's probably been five six seven years since I've been down here but this particular place is actually really unique it's more of a river than anything if you get way up north on this thing as far up as you can go it literally turns into like little bitty smallmouth creek so I'm gonna try to get my big bass boat in that creek today hopefully we can do that hopefully we can find some smallmouth up there as well. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. made it up to where the river starts to narrow down it's kind of a long idle up to where it really narrows down into that creek the water's a little bit muddier than i kind of expected it to be we've had some recent rains hopefully we can find some smallmouth up here i know back in the day there used to be some some nice smallmouth i mean nice creek smallmouth two three pounders and, and whatnot so i'm really looking forward to just getting up here kind of fishing some water that i used to fish way back in the day and Hopefully we get into them, so. But regardless, I'm fishing. Can't beat that. Ooh -hoo. Now that is just the cutest little creek smallie if I ever did see one. All right, guys, I know that that fish is not big at all. Just a little guy. It gives me a lot of confidence that they might hit my spook in this muddier water, so let's keep going. I feel like I should have been bit by now. I don't know if you ever have that voice in your head it's telling you, you know, where it feels like you should have been bit. This water is a little bit muddier than I had anticipated, which is fine. Obviously we got that one little guy, but you know, Creek smallmouth love little crankbaits. I'm gonna tie on this little fire tiger fritz side crankbait and see if they don't like that. Got one on my crankbait. Come on, fish. Whoa! Ooh, he freaking choked it too. Look at that. Ate it. Got our second little smallmouth. This would actually be a keeper here, a 12 incher. It's just so much easier when you're creek fishing in a bass boat. <laughs> you just have all your tackle. You don't have to lug it. Don't have to fish the shoreline. Oh man, I love these things. So thick. Thanks, guy. Oh, man. That's another one right there. But I've just thrown the top water right over that. Next cast with the crankbait. Woohoo! Another little small guy. Hoping to get into a couple of bigger ones. Okay, let's let this guy go. I think that first fish I may have caught on the top water may have been a fluke bass sometimes you'll catch those those bass that kind of steer you in the wrong direction i literally just made my second cast with a crankbait kind of in that same area where i caught the first one and immediately hooked up i had thrown the top water so i might stick to the crankbait i think that they're going to really want that in this muddier water so let's keep going there's one all right i'm sticking with the crankbait who doesn't like catching them on top though there's some better fish up here than this, but I mean, regardless, it's still a lot of fun. I'm glad I'm just catching. I didn't know if I was going to start catching when I saw all this muddy water, but hey, let's, let's just keep on doing it. Oh my God, that was a fish right there. That was definitely a fish right there. Come on, let's get this guy. How do you hit a crankbait and just not get hooked? That's what I want to know, because that happens more times than than it should. There he is, I got him that time. Yes. Woo they are just so much fun. Let's get him back in. 
I'll tell you what guys, a super good lesson that applies to all bass fishing. Anytime you catch a fish, make sure you continue to cast back in that same area. I don't care if you're fishing ponds, creeks, lakes, rivers, no matter what. Fish a lot of times are with each other. They're grouped up with each other. This morning, I've caught four smallmouth, but I've caught two sets of two. It's, it's just so textbook. They get there for a specific reason. Always cast back to where you caught a fish. Wouldn't surprise me to catch a largemouth off that riprap up there. Oh, wait. There's another one. Yes, sir. They're so beautiful. You gotta love it. Oh. Feels like a good one. Yep, that's a good one, guys. That is a good one. Come here, baby. Absolutely choked it. Giant smallmouth for this little lake, this little creek. Gosh, that's a giant. Come here, fish. Oh my gosh, it's like a four pounder. Pretty big one for the little creek. Woo! Guys, that is an absolute giant of a bass for this little creek. Probably a three and a half, four pounder. Just a giant, guys. Gosh, that's a giant. There's one. Just a little bonus fish on my way out. It's actually a decent one. Ooh. These little guys are super duper fun. I was really happy to get that pretty big one today. Golly. Another nice smallmouth, guys. I thought that that was a carp or something at first. He hit it so hard. There, oh, he's barely hooked. That gummit. This just got one hook right in his nostril. Oh no, he got two hooks now. Oh yes, yes sir, dude. Another good little smallmouth. Gosh, this is so much fun. Haven't done any creek fishing in a long time. Definitely not from a boat. There's a solid two pounder right there, guys. Beautiful fish. Gosh, they're so thick and healthy up here. Could just stare at these things. <sighs> Woo! That's a, that's a good one. Oh. The saw guy. Well, I guess we're gonna have to end it on that note, guys. That is a saw guy. That is a nice fish. You know what? I'm not an expert in these fish, but I always thought the walleye was the one that had the white tip like that on it. And I've never even caught a walleye down here before. We have a lot of saw guy, and I know there's some saugers in the river too. That's a, pre that's a pretty healthy, nice one. There's gonna be guys that are pretty mad at me for letting this fish go. Um, but if you know what this is, comment below, cause I don't know if it's a saw guy or a walleye or a sauger or what. So beautiful fish though, absolutely gorgeous. Maybe I should take it home to Doherty. Well guys, I am headed home. Uh, fun day out here today, catching those smallmouth, couple of bonus fish, that walleye or saw guy, whatever it was. There's gonna be guys below that are in the comments wanting to know the equipment that I used today. So I'm just gonna tell you, I used 12 pound fluorocarbon line. I had an Akuma crank and select rod. It's one of their newer rods, really love that rod. And I was using a Berkeley Fritz side crankbait, the, the junior. So 
A lot of fun, guys. I, I can't tell you how much fun. I just felt like a kid out here catching those smallmouth today. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you have a question, please leave a comment. And please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Versus